Hey guys, Joe and John here with sandblastingmachines.com and today we're going to be talking to you about media valves. Now right off the bat, John, why don't you explain what is a media valve, what's the purpose, uh, what types are there? Yeah, not to be confused with some of the other valves on your uh, blast machine, but your media valve is the valve that's located on the bottom of the blast pot okay. and it's actually you know, designed to handle the different media types you're blasting with and allow the adjustment and the flow of the media coming out of your blast hose. So it's your where you're hooking up your, your blast hose and the connection to your blast machine is coming together is going to be your media valve. All right, perfect. Well, uh, again, different types. I noticed we have a pretty good selection on the website. Right, right. And the reason for that, a um, lot of different types for a lot of different jobs and a lot of different machines. So right. um, not all machines can handle all media valves and not all media valves can handle all media. So oh, I guess okay. that's the best way of saying it. So depending on the job, depending on the, uh, the unit you're actually blasting with, that's going to dictate uh, what media valves you can or can't use. Just you know, keeping it very high level. I notice on the set we have, you know, we have the manual and a pneumatic or automatic type of valves. Now, what are the purposes do they serve? What are the differences there? Uh, the pneumatics uh, they're for more automatic type features. So you know, on say your auto quantum valve, uh, you can have an ACS system, and what that does. Uh, what is an ACS? Yeah, the ACS system is actually an abrasive cutoff switch. The ACS okay. stands for abrasive cutoff switch. So. Uh, it's a feature that's found on the auto quantum valve where basically you have a toggle switch out at the operator. You can flip that sh uh, switch and you actually go into what they call blow down mode. So there's no longer media coming out of the uh, blast hose, but there's still air coming out. So you can either dry uh. off a piece of metal or uh, blow off any of the uh, dust or abrasive that's left over. So that's the, a good example of why you'd have an automatic type. So oh, okay. uh, basically on a manual valve, again, you're going to go in there and you're going to be able to dial right in. Um, set it and forget it basically. Uh, once you got the media flow that you want, you're gonna be good. The reason this is so important, um, you know, you really wanna watch the flow of the abrasive coming out of the nozzle. Okay. So if you have a, a, a flow that we like to say is too rich, uh, you're gonna be able to see a lot of media. You know, if that's real black coming out or real dark and you can see it, you're, you're wasting media. You got too much coming out. And, and especially in sandblasting, too much is not a good thing. You know, right. you almost think more is better, you're wasting it. Okay. Um, then you have too lean. If you're too lean, you're not moving enough media, now you're just wasting time. So you want to dial it in where you can kind of see the media coming out, it's real faint, but it's there, and you're going to be able to tell by, by looking at the substrate if, if enough is coming out and you're removing enough material. Right. Okay, great. And I know another thing you mentioned was, you know, be mindful of the type of media that you're using. Uh, staying on the manual valves, I notice a lot of our packages, things like that, come with the uh, FSV, the flat sand valve. But I also noticed, you know, that's something that if you're using copper slag, you're not going to want to use a flat sand valve. Right, yeah, it's a perfect example of where media type's going to be important, you know, depending again on the job you're doing. If you're looking to use a metallic type media, uh, our most common one we sell is the flat sand valve. It's not going to work well with that. Okay. Uh, so that's where you're going to want to go over and jump and look at the manual quantum valve. Uh, it's a real easy swap out, you know, basically you're just unscrewing the valve at the bottom, unhooking your blast hose. New valve on, blast those hook back up, and you're, and you're ready to rock. All right, great. Well, you can find all of those in the media valve section on sandblastingmachines.com. Be sure to use our filter tool, get you to find the perfect product, and we have free shipping on all orders over $75. So, for John, I'm Joe. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you, guys.